Good morning, guys. It is another beautiful day in northern Wisconsin. Not so much warm, but the scenery is nice. We uh, we kind of sucked yesterday. We fished all day for a handful of fish, but we got some local help today. We're doing an MTB slam, or a, a, more an MTB challenge, because only one of us in the boat has to use the baits. The other one can just use whatever bait they want. We're going to do best five fish. Robin Perrick over in that boat, and then me and the MTB employee, Tim. Say what's, what's up, up Tim? How you doing? Ready to crush him today? We can't find the fish, so you you gotta. We're gonna do our you best. Gotta find We're gonna us. do our best. A lot of smallies in here, maybe a, a a rogue muskie, so should be a good day. These are the baits that are in the box for this month. It's got a lunker hut cracking, just a little popper, live target swim bait, a little swim jig, half ounce white swim jig, some V and M. What is this guy? It's a J bug. Looks like just a little creature bait. I don't know if that's quite a craw. It's more a creature bait. Catch co hunch, little jerk bait. Some treble hooks, which I'm assuming are for either the jerk bait or to put on the bottom of this swim bait. And we got a frog. Don't know if this one's gonna play, but, and we got a sticker. And we got a sticker. So those are the baits in this month's box. If you guys wanna check out Mr. Tack Box and try it for your first time, my MTB code is Chris. I think it is. Do you know my code at all? Yeah, it's Chris. It's Chris. My code is Chris to save $10 off your first box. With that being said, let's pop around the water. Tim, you confident? I'm pretty confident I'm 100% now. confident. Because you got, catch some nice fish here, right? We have in the past, and uh, the competition competition doesn't look too stiff. No, so it I, is think not. We'll, I think we'll be all right. No, not at all. Hey, Perk, you stop your boat. Oh, oh my I'm God. I'm trying to help you guys. This is so bad. That's not good. This is not good. The, oh the, the car is stuck. Yeah, Tim, I would probably turn your car off, buddy. Just make sure the boats don't float away, I guess. Tim, what did you do? <laughs> We're going to get in the water. I, th I think so, I think so is an understatement. Like that trailer is. Look at it. Look how cockeyed it is. We need to lift up. Dude, I came in a little too hot on that one. You did. You really sent me down far that ramp. You came way too hot. I came in too hot. Dude, I came in a little hot on that. Shit, I'm gonna have to get it. Tim, let me know what the water temp is. What do we got going on? Is it stuck on a rock? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, that trailer is very cockeyed. Party B. <laughs> I would wrap it around the trailer. Yep. And then just re hook it back on. Right here. Got it? No, not yet. I just got to get ready to go on there. He's got to duck his head. He's got to get on there. Oh. He went deep. Yep. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, it's on there. Tim, can you give me a water temp estimate? I'd say we're in the mid to low 60s. It, it's not as bad as you'd actually think. Oh yeah, I can get it. It's up. Somebody uh... Yeah, just, just ratchet it, oh, ratchet ratchet it, it down so it, so it should hold it. Yeah. I'll hop in and I'll... Is your key in here? Yeah. yeah. Hold yeah. It? Was it in a yeah, big no, hole? It's up. It's up. Okay. Yeah, it's hold on, let me just see one other thing. Well, there's a sign here that says... What is this? Trailer past this point. <laughs> was there a sign that says that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, go. Don't push. Alright, go, go. Easy, easy. Slow, slow. Alright, right, hold up. Hold, hold. Just unhook it. Yeah. Alright, you're good. You're good. Pull it out. Yeah. Hey, nothing, easy nothing. as that. You can't handle? Quick shower for Tim this morning. Yeah, Get him energetic. Yeah, get an exclamation point on this. I like it. Woo! Oh my god. Dude, I thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult. Oh, oh yeah. That was not bad. That at looked all. kinda bad. <laughs> Dude, when I hit it to go back up, I thought like you like strapped it like I thought somebody was like messing with me. No, no, no. Well that I'm glad they didn't take that long. That was like five minutes. Is it still for sure gonna rain? So if it doesn't rain, what time? Three? Three. That's five? If it's raining a little bit, we'll stay. And you have a... Do we both have our scales? Yeah, you have a scale, we have a scale. We have one, right? You think that's one? Oh, yep. Just told you I'd do that and then didn't do that. We got this in the bag. Easy money. So here's what we got going on. I took that swim jig and just a trailer I had, put that on there. Then I took one of those 
J bugs, put it on a drop shot. Nice little weedy bay in here. Is there largies in here? That yeah. frog might play. Yeah, there are, but I never focus on them. There are some in here for sure, though. Interesting. Pike as well, so. Oh, there's a lot of pike. There are pike, so keep that in mind. I'll keep it in mind. All right, I'm, I'm gonna use this swim jig. I thought it was gonna be. There's one. one. I think that's a largie. I don't think it's a snake. What's well, a good largie, dude? I got the Oh, it's a big smallie. Yes, Tim. That's a nice one, that's man. That's a real good one. We'll put him in the well. Dude, that's a dandy. Let me get <laughs> On the swim jig? On the swim jig. Yeah, I was did like, that is, off, I was like, that's he, not a pike. Did he come off a stump, like come off wood? Honestly, I don't think so. That's probably a three pounder. Two and a half. Ah, he's fat. That's he a three pounder. With that swim, dude. Swimming her. That's a fat one, dude. I like it. Bigger fish than I've caught yet. Hell yeah. Yeah, all these fish, I was showing pair catcher, they got these like black dots on them. Yeah, it's, it's something... I've seen that in ice fishing panfish. Um, like... I can't think of what it is, but there's... Here. You can... Let's weigh this guy first. Oh yeah, good call. You got this cooler? Yeah. Let me hold him in the water for a sec while you get that. It's not a giant, but that is a great first fish. So if, especially if we can get five of those. He almost looks like he's been caught before. He does. Maybe caught by you. Could be. What are we oh, he's so close. 297. So in the well? Yeah, we might as well. Basically three. Are you sure? Let's just keep, we should get one bigger. Yeah, he's not a right. giant. We're only gonna keep the biggest one, you're yeah. saying? Yeah, let's put yeah. that. It's more like a showboating thing too, because Peric and Rob can't keep one. Thank you, bud. All right, so 297. It's got... a good start. I'll put it on my phone. Okay. Yeah, he was like on the end too, where there was no weed. So I think that's that's the move. Stay out of the weeds, yeah. But he was near some type of. Oh yeah, he was cover. near cover in the weeds. Because yeah, I don't think since the sun's not high at all, there's I no really weed. don't think there's gonna be tight to cover. We'll be around it, but. Oh, dude, what was that? Big swirl. Didn't need it. There it is. Oh, I'll, I'll flip him. I don't know if it's a largemouth or smallmouth. It's a bass, though. It's a little smally. I knew I saw something there. Same spot, right where you cast it and got the little throw. You think that's 14? Yeah, maybe not. Is 14 the size limit? Yeah, that's the size limit out here, yeah. But I didn't, we didn't just another one. Let me just see, just, uh, just to look. Yeah, we really should have, uh... No, he's 13. You want to make 13 the size? No. <laughs> you want to make 13? I like that thought process, Tim. I like it. This guy, wow, that's... He's got the black dots all in his mouth. Well, thank you, buddy. He's not going to count. Watch him just weigh in all 12 inches. Because there's no way they know that 14 is the size limit. No, I... Yeah. Should we call and tell him that? Yeah, I feel like you should, should do that. Just... You ever fish the display? Hello? Yeah, there's no size limit. What do you mean there's no size limit? We didn't know that, so we've been weighing fish that are under. I don't know how many he's caught, but we're counting that fish as a pound and a half that I caught. We gotta write that in. Well, there's the rain. Tim, do we look at the radar and see how screwed we are? Oh, we are so screwed, boys and girls. We are, oh, 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 all day. Really? All day. And it's, it's not just like light green either. It's like, it's dark green. It's not pass. No, no, we got a hundred percent. Wow, that was really twangy. We got a hundred percent, hundred percent chance of Chris's GoPro getting drowned. I don't know, uh, maybe if it's like light rain, we can, I got rain gear. You got your rain gear? We can stick her out. I'm hoping the rain does not get too bad and, and we don't have to quit on this day because this is such a cool, unique body of water. 
that we're fishing right now. I mean, it's a lily pad field filled with stumps on a shallow weedy lake, but we're using swim jigs to catch smallmouth. Like it's not a normal thing by any means. It's a very unique way to catch these fish. And I want to catch more. And I really don't think we have enough to beat Perrick and Rob yet. Is there good stump fields uh, by the dam? Down river? Yeah. Yeah, there there is. Let's let's kick on over there because I, I don't think I don't much. think we have a lot of time left. Go Mother Nature is Yeah, Mother Nature is shortening our fishing trip right now. Have you ever fished below the dam here? Yeah. Can we like oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Was yeah, good. get him back. I don't care that was little, we need him. There we go. Score. Atta boy, Tim. <laughs> He's got you hooked. <laughs> Dude. Dude, he got me back. He's got all three hooks in. That is not a 14 incher, but don't matter anymore. I like that I get two huge blow ups. Can't catch those. Though. Yeah, and then this little dinko. Oh, we need to weigh that. Oh no. <laughs> hey, we'll catch more. Ooh. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what a sequence right there. We just dumped four pounds. Maybe not four pounds. Maybe three pounds. Can we call that? No, I no. No, I, not yours, but mine. We can't. No, no, because we don't have a weight. The first one was different because that was like a pound and a half fish. Wow, that fish freaking ate it at the boat. Tim, do you like to think positive? I like to think positive. You know what the positive is? There's fish here. That's okay. That's all good. That wouldn't have really helped all that much. That other one you had on was a little better, huh? Yeah. No, the one I had on was close to two pounds. That one would have helped. Kind of bummed about that one, but we can't do anything about it. We're at the dam. We might fish these rocks. We might uh, get out and fish below the dam. We got options right here. Rain has stayed. It's definitely raining, but it's really not terrible rain, so I don't think it's going to be too bad. Hey, cast that plopper back over there. Because, I mean, if there was two there, there's got to be more. Huh? Watch where you stuck. What happened? <laughs> oh. Yeah, someone's having a little bit of shore lunch. There's a crappie channel cat with about a million maggots. Oh, there's a bass, too. That's cool. It's a bass, catfish, so someone's having a cute little shore lunch. That's actually, you said that's a, a cabin? A conservationist with, had been through here, it looks like. Yeah. Big time catch and release angler. Yeah, we got a cat, a smallmouth, and a crappie. Tim and I are going off the beaten path right now. We, we got to make up for losing those fish. We're going to go fish below the dam right there. Just two. We'll give it five, five, ten minutes. All right. Bogey. This was a dumb idea, but that's okay. Had shooter, to try shoot, it. Man. Shooter, shoot. Yeah, shooter's got to shoot. And the rain has also significantly picked up. Not exactly a pleasant day outside. So what, we only technically have two right now. Oh, not even technically. We just have two. <laughs> We've had probably seven or eight bites. Oh, look at this. It's big leopard frog. No. Those things are quick. All right, back to fish. We're struggling out here, folks. The only consistent bites we've had are, are off like stumps and laydowns. But what doesn't make any sense is that this entire shoreline we've just fished, we fished a bunch of great looking laydowns and stumps with no fish to show for it. Also, how about this? All the trees are changing big time. It's mid-September, which that's just insane. So we're about to take a pretty painful run in the pouring rain to go up to the stump fields that I caught my, right around like where I caught my first one, right? Yep. Yeah, that, that three pounder I caught is gonna gonna be huge. I have a good feeling Perrick and uh, Rob are not cracking them because Tim knows this lake decently well. Fishing a lot of good stuff. Not many fishies to show for it, but that's also our fault because we've dumped a good amount. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm really surprised Perrick and Rob haven't called us. I mean, they have the rain here, but it is pouring right now guys and it's a cold rain it's a 50 55 degree rain and as always i have the proper footwear not game fish not really liking the cold rain tim switched to a senko just to try to 
get some bites and get some fish. We are stuck on two in our five fish limit. Well guys, the, the, the time is running out on this soak and drench mystery tackle box challenge. We have not had any action since it started raining a long while ago. Tim and I's spirits are not exactly high right now. This is not a pleasant environment to be fishing in. So we're gonna head back to the ramp and then spend the last 10, 15 minutes trying to th throw a Hail Mary and get three fish in the boat. I don't know. We called Parrick and they have a limit apparently, so it's not looking good. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's gonna be on. I missed like a two and a half pounder right after that. I'm like, we're gonna work these boys. And we literally, like, once the rain started too, we couldn't. It was tough. That's when we started catching. I started cranking. Wait, wait, hey, when we were on the phone with you, did you hear the fish splashing? I called when I was on the phone with you. So it was the opposite. The rain started, you guys started doing good. I'm glad the local knowledge really paid off today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we found a, we caught, was it four of our five fish? Yeah, dude, we seriously went through and we caught two. And I was like, you know, we got to go back through. We went yeah, back to the later. We caught two more. Just hit the same stretch. Stump same field, stretch. like a bunch of stumps. Like just stumps. You caught them on bear no stumps. Yeah, that's. Bear stumps, nothing else. Like this shit was a waste of time. Those huh. right there. I caught that three pounder though right there like five minutes ago. Really? Yeah, in a drain. It's a cool fishery, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, I was telling him, it's like you're almost fishing for largemouth, right. flipping, but catching yeah. smallmouth. Yeah. yeah. Well, sick. Well, we said for fun we might just get the, the trailer stuck again. Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least it stopped raining. It was raining real hard. Yeah. Yeah, we're out here. Are you not? You only have a sweatshirt. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> He's trooping. I'm, I'm a foggy tampon right now. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. So guys, due to the rain and all that, I never really wrapped up the video there in the parking lot. But basically, we just got smoked. Somehow, Rob and Parrot caught like 15 to 20 fish doing the exact same thing that Tim and I were doing. Just happens sometimes. We lost. We had like five pounds. They had like. 12 or so but today it's the next day i'm back home that was barking do you got a problem but what i was going to say is that that's just going to keep happening but i'm going to shut up now i think we're going to do something with this fish tank now i just finished editing that video so i think we're going to finally get a fish in this tank because it's been way way too long